know that they're involved in a secret financial manipulation and that they want it kept secret. Move a big chunk of funds too fast or the wrong way. Really destabilize the monetary markets. Then the dollar will collapse. Whereupon there'll be a lot of jawboning by the president, and that won't work. Then they'll go to selling gold, and that won't work either. Then they'll have to go to capital controls, freeze foreign assets, stop any money from going in or out, and that will be the end of all the markets. That'll really be the finish. Then you'll see a worldwide depression that'll make the 1930s look like a kindergarten. In two months, you'll have bread lines in Detroit, riots in Pittsburgh. In six months, you'll see grass right over Rodeo. It began eight days ago when a group of Arab investors withdrew billions of dollars from U.S. banks. That, in turn, started a chain reaction on the world money markets. Dollars, pounds, marks, francs, yen. Not one currency escaped. This scene outside a Manhattan bank was duplicated all over the world as people saw their life savings become worthless in a matter of hours. Good evening, I'm George Page in New York, and this is another in our series of reports on the world economic crisis. The growing paralysis of the industrial world has left millions without jobs, without money, and without hope. Crowds of unemployed poured into Washington yesterday. They stood in silent protest before the nation's leaders. At the same time, more than a million people packed St. Peter's Square, where the Pope urged calm and nonviolence. The pontiff asked for prayers for world leaders, prayers and peace and reason. But the last 24 hours have been marked by growing protests and ever-increasing violence. Last night, demonstrators burned American currency in front of the White House, and attempts to put out the fires led to a confrontation every hour from every corner of the globe. There are new reports of outraged crowds demanding a bankrupt world seems to be teetering on the very edge of anarchy.